So welcome to the C-suite of the Open Video Series with TMX Group. I'm Arnie Goldstein, Head of Company Services based out of Vancouver, and joining me today is Dan Blondell, the CEO of Nano One. Welcome, Dan. I hope you're safe and well. Thank you, Arnie. Same for you and your family. Um, it's great to be here. Appreciate it. Excellent. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about Nano One and, and where you sit in the, in the ecosystem amongst companies that are listed on, on the TSX Venture Exchange? Yeah, sure. So, uh, so Nano One Materials is a technology company. We're developing process technology to make lithium ion battery cathode materials. So we take raw materials from mining companies and processing companies like lithium, and cobalt, and nickel, and we mix them together into a composite material. And we have technology to improve the, uh, the process costs and also the performance of the material, things like uh, the durability uh, of the material inside a lithium ion battery. And then downstream of us would be a, would be a, a battery producer who would take our material, wrap it into a battery, and then ultimately that would be end up in, a, in an automotive uh, vehicle or a, or a, or a laptop or, or cell phone or something like that. So we find ourselves midstream in the, in the supply chain, in the lithium ion battery supply chain. So really you're a bunch of guys in white coats running around uh, labs doing, doing what exactly? So uh, it's a, a, as a as a as a uh, technology company, industrial technology company. We have uh, chemists, process engineers, uh, to some degree, some physicists, um, uh, and people working on mixing uh, chemicals and and raw materials and making powders out of them. Those powders then become the functioning material inside a lithium ion battery. Um, but we have a, we have a pilot plant uh, that's able to make uh, many kilograms of material, uh, very large pieces of equipment, all the way down to small laboratory equipment. Uh, we use a lot of uh, we use a lot of investigative materials like microscopes and scanning things and, and chemical analysis to figure out what the composition of materials are and how they behave. We also make batteries uh, at the test level. Uh, not for production, not for sale, but uh, really in order to evaluate our materials in uh, in batteries to see how they perform. That's fantastic. What are some of the the catalysts that that positively affect your business? So uh, certainly, as a public company um, uh, looking to build out our technology platform, and uh, I should mention, as a we have a licensing platform, we're developing the know how and the people and the patents. Um, and the trademarks and the trade secrets to sell our technology into the supply chain. So we look to either the OEMs, like uh, let's say a Volkswagen uh, or, or, or an Apple or any of these types of large players to actually adopt our technology or some of the, someone in their supply chain, it'd be the people making their cells or make, making their battery cells or making the materials that go into the cell. So we look to license our technology into that space. So partnership is a very important catalyst in our, in our space. So Last year, we announced three partners, very large ones, Volkswagen, Pulid, who's a large ke a chemical producer in China, and Saint Gobain, who's one of the largest um, uh, ceramics and glass companies in the world. So they're used to uh, making materials kind of like ours as well. And, and uh, those partnerships have developed considerably over the next year, over the last year. And over the next year, um, uh, we will develop those partnerships to deeper um, relationships, which we will then be able to announce and those will become catalysts. So, so development of those partnerships is really important. Uh, you should know that we are working with many of, uh, of uh, Volkswagen's peers in the space, either at the automotive level or down at the chemical level as suppliers, tier two suppliers, tier three suppliers into the automotive space. So announcing those as, as partners, um, as those relationships develop is also very, very key. Um, we will have catalysts on the on the revenue front uh, moving forward. So if we strike a license deal, that um, uh, I think investors should be looking to that kind of catalyst as well. Uh, as we move forward, we could start to see the emergence of a deal like that this year, although things are slowed down quite a bit, as you know, um, uh, you know, across the sector. But uh, but we're, we're moving things along very well. Um, and then lastly, there's always technology advancements. So we're working constantly on new processes and developing new materials and we get new results. And those results sometimes are, are very announceable and, uh, and investors should be looking to us for those as well. Uh, what are the the biggest challenges that you're facing right now um, and, and how are you addressing those? 
So I, I think, uh, you know, scale up uh, is always going to be one of the biggest challenges and getting a partner more deeply ingrained with Nano One. So uh, we've been, as I said, we've been actively working with, with, uh, with Volkswagen and many of their peers and getting them into a deeper relationship uh, requires us not only to make and test materials and go back and forth, uh, we iteratively sort of improve the materials, but it also means we have to prove out the uh, the, the the scale up of our materials. Can we, we can make it at the laboratory level, we can make it at the pilot level, can we do it at a manufacturing level effectively? So putting those supply chains in place, making sure there is a source, there is the right source of lithium, cobalt, nickel, manganese uh, that we can move forward with. So these are these are the day-to-day -day business and supply chain challenges that we need to put in place and they, they take time and uh, luckily now with uh, the recent financing and the backing of the, the federal government uh, we've got actually a, a fair amount of runway to put it all in place but uh, we we do think that uh, we're going to have some uh, some reasonably good advances this year that uh, that shareholders will be uh, very happy with excellent well thank you very much for joining us today um we uh, will see you on the markets. Yeah, well, thank you, Arnie. I really appreciate the opportunity. Great. Take care and, and be well. Thank you so much. <laughs>